I wasn't a DJ when I started the show. I, mm -hmm. People kind of heard me become a DJ. <laughs> so me, it was Trying more that fire. I was a radio person already. Mm -hmm. I caught up with Jeannie at the Clock Tower Radio Broadcast Center, where I got to witness a true master at work. Since 93, she's been doing this little radio show. Now, I'm not sure if you've heard of it, but it goes by the name The Liquid Sound Lounge. What started as a 3.30 a.m. show called Adventures in the World of House has grown into a marketing company, a label, and of course, for all you conscientious party people with a purpose, we can't forget those infamous boat parties. But I think from here on, it's best if we let Jeannie tell it. At first, sometimes people will come on the boat and they'll be like, oh my God, I'm going to be out on the water for three hours with these people. Who are these people? And because they see the diversity of ages and backgrounds and uh, economic statuses and color. And they're like, what do we have in common? Because they're so used to using those as, you know, we're conditioned visually. And, uh, but then all of a sudden they're like, it's the music, and they're all like, oh my god, Get on we're the all the same, mm -hmm. we're all here, we love the music, we're all good, you know. Her style is first among equals, and I think that if she has any personal credo, it probably reads, all of us working together to build a better experience. Be that through direct education or informative entertainment, like what she believes music used to be. I hearken to those days where messages really came through the music from the 60s and the 70s, and um, it could be something gospel-like and inspiring, which a lot of the vocalists come out of in terms of the music that I play, and I think it becomes church-like in that sense of um, like unifying again through the music. Jeannie, she shared a lot, and perhaps that's because she's been through so much after migrating a long way to the Big Apple. For now, I'm Alexander Holmes, and that's our conversation.